quite squared up, so we're going to take and scrape it. Just square up the block. Have we scrape, change directions. Okay, there's your block after the second cut. The next cut we'll be making is our facial lingual cut. We'll be setting our micrometer to the... The number we're being held accountable for is 8.8, .8, so we're going to add 9.5 again. We're going to add 0.5. Set it at 9.3. Again, we're going to score the block. Here's the line we'll be cutting on. And this is the wax that will be removed. Okay, once again, we'll be starting at the end, putting the tip of your knife into the wax, pointing it slightly outward, away from this part that's to be preserved, and gouging out chunks of wax. pieces coming off. Oh, that was a big chunk. Back again, starting at the far end, more up and down, more straight up and down now with my knife. Here's where I'm at after my second pass. Third pass. I'm just going to go absolutely straight up and down now and square up the block. So that's about as square as we're going to get by gouging it. Now I'm going to take and scrape the wax to finish squaring it out. <clears throat> Okay, so there's our block, ready to go. At this point, I want you to pick up your micrometer and make sure you're no more than a half a millimeter larger than what the, um, what the measurements call for. If it's larger than that, you'll need to true it up just a little bit more. As soon as you've got it within a 0.5 margin, no larger than 0.5 millimeters, larger than, than, the, than the specs, then raise your hand and a TA is going to come by 
check off your block, give you a signature, and you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, here's our wax block. It's within half a millimeter of dimensions. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our outline forms. So, what I'm doing is I'm looking at this picture. I'm looking at my block over here. And I'm going to try to draw that picture on my block. So this will be the inside ledge down here. It's an approximation, of course. So, essentially we've drawn that picture onto this block. Now, we're going to cut away all the things that are outside the picture. So, here's basically four cuts. We're going to start right up here on the inside ledge and we'll take a straight cut down. These are small cuts, so we can go straight through, straight up and down, all the way through. No need to angle out of your wax. You're not going to develop a fracture doing these ones. So there's my inside ledge cut. It's an approximation, of course, but it's in the ballpark. I'm going to make these root line cuts. I'm being generous and leaving um, wax, um, probably more than I should. But I can always come back in and scrape away additional, which I'll do here in a minute. Let's make that other root line cut. So that's kind of where we're at. Now I'm going to start scraping. Always changing directions. Just smooth out the four initial cuts that I've made. At this point, what we're going to do, this picture is actually to scale the picture over on the, the line drawings. So it's a very methodical way of getting um, from here to here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side and I'm just going to work my way around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and line it up 